Hi, I'm Jamie Lee, and I have a problem. I have an addiction problem. Um, for many years now, <clears throat> I know that probably does a lot for your ears if you're listening to me with headphones. I'm a female. Uh, yeah, I know. People have asked me. They they still think I'm a dude. I think any female in history who's been like brilliant or or a true genius has always been mistaken for a man. I don't know what that's about. I don't know. I still get, Jamie, are you a man? Always one person that will have a comment like, are you a dude? Is she a man? Is she a dude? Electrolysis. Confession to make, if you will. I have an addictive personality, which means I get addicted to pretty much anything. Um, and I'm also somebody that loves to learn. You know, I'm brilliant. You know, I mean, I am. 33. Modesty is... Whew. I'm usually sick pretty much all of the entire winter, and um, I just learned of this new thing called cough syrup, especially Delcium, which I tend to be a really big fan of. Um, coughing doesn't bother me so much until it's time for me to go to sleep. When I lay down, that tends to be when, like, you know, all the mucus and stuff travels down your throat area, and, and I'm a big fan of sleep. I love being in my bed. So I started taking a lot of cough syrup and a lot of Delcium, and I noticed in the morning, obviously in the morning, so I fall asleep because I'm not coughing anymore, um, I feel kind of drunk. So I guess my question for you guys, and you can leave me a little comment below, or you can just stare at this and then feel better about yourself after you watch my videos, like most people do. Does cough syrup have an ingredient in it that makes you drunk? Because I know that alcohol does exist in a lot of cough syrups, but... I have been taking some that say definitely no alcohol on the box or in the bottle, and I still wake up in the morning and I'm like, <laughs> you know, woo, everything is great, <laughs> yeah, I'm fabulous. I'm addicted to it, I think. Oh, crap. The bad kind of drunk where I'm vomiting and throwing up, and those of you who have seen me in that state, I'm sorry. Thank you for loving me when I'm most vulnerable and gross. There's not many. Trust me, there's not many. Do you think it's bad that I'm still addicted to that stuff and I like to use it just to, you know, feel a little freer or, you know, a little... <sighs> it's not going to send the right message, this video, is it? I should probably stop recording. Okay. Piece of yellow lab, like my Marley. Aww, the bubba. So cute. Aww. You guys can't see. I'm not flipping around the camera because... Oh, wait. I might get a copyright because the song is playing. Stupid YouTube. Shit. We're actually partners, by the way. YouTube and I are partner. Even though I don't make money on my YouTube channel, guys, uh, YouTube did ask me to be a partner, so that means I have to obey certain rules. He's in the lab and he's playing with a frisbee in the snow, and he's so happy. Oh, see, it's the simple things. That's a baby talk. I'll never have a baby of my own, but I can have a baby with the labs. Oh, look. I used to talk to Marley all the time when I played with him. Whenever he would see the snow, I remember the first time he saw the snow, he got so excited. He was like, he, he was just so excited. He didn't know what this stuff was. And he started to like, he literally dipped his whole head in the snow. And he like, his whole front of his face was like, it looked like he just sniffed a whole bag of cocaine. Just the most adorable thing. And I think he liked the way that the snow felt on his face. Because he kind of like would keep rubbing his head in it. It was hilarious. And then that way, let me turn this off, guys, for copyright. I'm sorry, I keep looking up here, because whenever I do the vlogs this way, I can't look here, because it's just the way the phone is. It's a long story, anyway. He would do his business, and I always said that Marley was the perfect guy, because he never learned how to lift his leg to pee. He just squatted like a female dog. And I know some stuff is nature or nurture, so I don't know... You know, if, like, this is a learned behavior. Marley was a big recluse and a big hermit and a big homebody like his mommy. He would hold my feet down because I have restless leg syndrome when I sleep. So he would be, like, this permanent big heavy pillow on the end of my bed and I would stick my feet under. He would poop in the snow. And then he would literally, you know how dogs, they, like, they go back and they look at, like, their business and what they just did. And they would kick it and dig it up. And then he would... <clears throat> He would, like, run away from it. I didn't do that. And then he would kick a whole bunch of snow over it, and then he'd, like, take off running. It's kind of like when dogs fart and, okay, excuse me, pass wind. That's the bloke in me, you know? I grew up with boys, not girls. When dogs would fart and 
they always like get up right away and then they move away from it and then they look around and whoever else is in the room as to say like why did you do that he would he would buffy and then all of a sudden he'd be like oh oh my god i have so many great memories of marley i love him i miss him so much that was my boy that was my little boy some things i don't talk about because are too sad so someday i hope i can get a lot of laps but i have to be like secure in my life i have to be in a place in my life where it's like a home you know and then i can i'm gonna have like five laps i don't even care so i'm just saying this will be sheer tons of entertainment value i'm certain yeah, hi, I'm trying to reach this girl. Her name is Jamie Lee. She has this YouTube channel. There's something going on with your nose. Like, why is it always taped up? Because that looks really weird. I'm really angsty and I have a lot of, you know, teenage angst and things. And, you know, if, if I don't understand something or if I think something's weird or different, then automatically it's bad. So can you kind of just tell me what's going on with that? Because you look like a freak. Well, why would you do that? I really don't see how I can go on with my day or, you know, carry on just living my life because there's something about you that really disturbs me. I'm part of the internet age. I was born Generation X, so to speak, and uh, anybody that has something that's strange, we like to talk about, and we like to, you know, post hate online. It's actually really fun, and it's really time-consuming. I don't even go outside once. Is there still a sun? Since I really don't have anything to do today, I just wanted to let you know that I'm gonna Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, pretty much plaster your face all over the interwebs. It's gonna make me be so popular. Thanks anyways. I mean, I always hate what you do, I hate what you say, I hate all the things that you represent. I especially hate the way you look, because it's freaky and weird and different, and I'm just not okay with that. But I'm probably going to keep watching because it's just interesting and I have nothing better to do with my time. But thanks! Bye! What am I going to do with all this angst now? Cyberbully. Can you believe that? I'm only 14. I mean, who can I bully? My ring pop, maybe. I'm glad I stood up to that weirdo. She deserved it.